Radio Rahim here with Ruben Guerrero. You might be uh, confused because this is not the fighter in the ring on Saturday, but every time a fight comes up, you would think he's the one putting on the gloves. <laughs> Ruben, well, you're always ready. Uh, we're going to get to your son and what's going to happen with him on Saturday night, but you seem to have starting to line up your own opponents in grudge matches. What's going on between you and Floyd Sr.? Hey, man, I'm just like I said, man, I'm a born fighter, man. I was born to fight. I've, I fought when I was young. I fought in the streets. I'm 30 and 0 in, in the streets, bro. I never lost a fight. And uh, me and him got a little grudge going on, you know. He talked a lot of shit. He said he could whip my ass. He opened his mouth. And you know what? I just retaliated it back. And I told him, dude, if you want to do it, we'll do it anywhere you want, man. We'll do it. Don't be talking shit. Let's do it out in the street. Let's go to the parking lot. We'll do it. So what did he say? He says, man, we'll do it anywhere, in the moon, whatever. And I called him out. Mayweather's, when we had the... Uh, when Robert signed the contract and then we went out there to do the face-off in Vegas, I told him, I'll meet you there in the fucking parking lot, me and you. We get down. You leave all your little buddies there. We walk out by ourselves. I'm not taking nobody, just me and my son. You take, you be out there in the parking lot, I'll be waiting for you. He never showed, bro. He's just a big talk. He's a big mouth. And I don't think he can handle me, bro. He can't. He don't got the balls I got, bro. He's baby nuts, bro. I'm always ready to go. When somebody calls me out, bro, you better, you better be down with your word and do it, bro. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm ready, bro. They call me out, bro. I'm like a shark, bro. I'll eat that son of a bitch up. Now, with all that said, your son is a professional fighter. He's got uh, a fight on Saturday night in training camp. And now that you've got the TV show, how hard is it for you to stay focused on the job at hand? Oh, bro, I'm, uh, I'm always focused, bro. That's what I love to do, man. I never get out of focus, man. I'm always ready to go. I love, I love this kind of dramas, bro. That's me, bro. I love it. Like I said, bro. I, I was born a, I was born a, uh, a street fighter, bro. So that's what I like. Bro. I like to fight. Now, for Robert's sake, he's been off for over a year, especially by the time he'll step in the ring. It'll be like about 14 months. Um, obviously, you weren't successful against Floyd Mayweather. So in this time, fighting ring rust and coming back off of a loss, what have you been doing in the gym to prepare him for this moment? Yeah. Uh, one thing, let's correct something, bro. Uh, Mayweather didn't come to fight. He came to run. My son came to fight. He came to run for 12 rounds. He was looking at the camera, waiting for the time to go by, because he wanted to get the hell out. He wanted to fight like an amateur, punch, and get the hell out. Like a, He fought like an amateur. He didn't come to fight my son, bro. He was scared. He was scared. They were scared of my son. You could see it in his eyes when he walked in that ring. He didn't come to fight. He came to run. And you know what, bro? People don't like to see that shit, bro. So if we get the rematch, man, this time we're going to catch him. We're going we're gonna to train with chicken, bro. We're going to catch the chickens this time. We're going to chase chickens and catch them, and if he gives us a rematch, he's got the balls, we'll fight him. But if he don't, I don't think he has them, bro. Okay, but Ruben, when you, people, when you say that, people make it, it sounds to them like you're saying you felt like you won the fight or what Floyd did wasn't successful. You know you lost the fight, though. I mean, you don't think he, you don't think Robert won. Uh, hey, he didn't come to fight. There was no fight. He came to run, bro. So how are you going to fight when somebody comes to run? for 12 rounds with a big old huge ring. He got the biggest ring he could get because he was scared of my son. He won't stand toe to toe like he did uh, Medania, he did Canelo. He didn't do that with Robert. Everybody knows it. He was scared of shit. He wanted to get paid and get out. He was scared, bro. He didn't want to fight. That guy's a fucking chicken, bro. Like I told you, they're chickens, bro. <laughs> Well, and, the, and his dad's the same way, bro. He don't got the, the, the feet to run, bro. I'm going to catch his ass. I'm going to knock his ass out. He can't the, run, bro. He's too old, man. With that said, the Floyd Mayweather rematch is probably not that likely. But what could be in the cards, it seemed like there were maybe been some positioning for a Pacquiao fight. How do you see your son matching up with Manny Pacquiao? That would be great, bro, because Man, Manny Pacquiao comes to fight. You know, he comes to fight, and that's the kind of fights we like. Guys that like to fight, like this guy we're fighting right now, he likes to come to fight, and that's the fights we like. That's perfect. That's what we love. And lastly, you, you, when a guy loses a fight on a big stage, like uh, against Mayweather, what does it take for you to get him mentally prepared to get back in there again after a year layoff, these contract disputes, all these distractions, and how do you refocus him for the challenge at hand? Hey, it's just, uh, we just put that behind us, you know, they uh, we, we trained for what we had to do. We, we trained to fight. We didn't train to chase a chicken. So we did what we did. We trained to come to fight. And uh, he obviously, he didn't want to fight. And uh, everybody looks at it like, hey, dude, he's the greatest. But he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't sit down and trade with my son like a real fighter. A real fighter take a chance and trade with the guy. He didn't do that. And he caused himself pound for pound. And he was the one that was running most of the time, bro. That's, that's not, he's, he was to be the champion. He was supposed to be pushing the fight, not running. You know, so we're always prepared, bro. We're always focused, and we come to do what we come. You're gonna see this fight, bro. A guy that likes likes to fight, guy that don't run, 
you're going to see the difference on this fight, man. It's going to be a great fight, and that's what the people like to see. All right, Radio Raheem with Ruben Guerrero, unmistakable yeah. <laughs> fighter in the streets. And, uh, I guarantee you, I'm going to knock Floyd Mayweather Sr. out, bro. I'm going to show the people, bro. All right, man. Good luck with that. Radio Raheem with Ruben Guerrero. <laughs>